Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Mark Cooper and I'm a psychologist working with chronic pain patients. And I've got a doctorate in psychology and a doctorate in natural health and I've incorporated some of the ideas from both of these uh, experiences into my treatment and ways of working with patients with chronic pain. And today I'm here to talk to you about uh, how to raise your pH level because we found that that seems to be helpful for variety of conditions like fibromyalgia and autoimmune problems and um, um, arthritis um, and so it's quite been helpful for people to make these lifestyle changes and, and today I'm going to talk about that a little bit. So first of all I want to um, tell you how you might be able to measure and, uh, and to assess what your pH level is. Um, one of the strategies is to take a pH strip like this and you take a little piece of it and you break it off and this will test your oral pH and you just put it in your mouth and you see what color it turns. Now if you look that's turned a dark green. It really needs to be between a 7.4 and a 7.6 level to be the healthiest. Now you want to test this first thing in the morning before you have anything to drink and before you you get up too and move around too much and that'll be the most accurate and the best way to do that is for about three days in a row and then do that once a month as you're making some of the lifestyle changes that we're going to talk about but uh, the so the first step of uh, getting this ph down to where it seems to be the most healthiest for person for a person is to try to eat about 80 percent fruits and vegetables now, i've talked about this on a previous video uh, uh, where I've talked about the anti-inflammatory diet. So you might want to review that uh, program as well. Um, but if you want to add some supplements to that and try to boost it up further, there's other ways to do that. Uh, probably the first way besides eating 85 cents fruits and vegetables, you want to, you can get high pH water. You can buy high pH water. You'll see a little number like 9.5 or 8.8 .8 on that, on that pH water. And that's a good way of, uh, getting your pH level up as well. Um, you ought to, of course, avoid sodas because those are extremely acidic and, and not too much coffee. Um, another way to do this is actually um, making some of your herbal teas. One of the teas that I found to be most helpful for patients with arthritis and joint problems and even kidney problems is parsley tea. And what you do there is you take four twigs of parsley and it needs to be the fresh parsley you get from Walmart or Kmart or, or uh, Food City or any of the grocery stores. And you take the fresh parsley and cut it in strips about this far. You put it in about a 12 ounce glass and you pour boiling water over it or hot water. You let it sit for about five minutes and then you drink that. And you try to do that every day. Now I would, I'd do that in the morning because it has a tendency to flush your system and you don't want to be having to get up at night to go to the bathroom. So the best way to do this is in the morning and not do it at night. And if you do that once a day, you might find that that is beneficial for you as well. Uh, another technique that comes from a herbalist friend of mine and as a cancer specialist, uh, she would make a formula where you would take kuzu root and imbashi plums. And you'd take a teaspoon of this kuzu root and you'd put it in water. You wouldn't bring it to a boil, but you'd heat it up and then turn it clear. It's kind of milky looking at first. Um, and, and it'll turn clear. And then you take the kuzu roots, or I mean, you take the umbashi plums, and you cut those up into it and, and just put them in there. And then you pour that in a glass and you drink it or a cup. Now that's done best in the winter time because it's really a hot drink. Uh, a third way to, to do this is to use a little baking soda. And some people have found that taking about a half a teaspoon of baking soda is, is helpful to raise your pH level up, and they use that every day. Now you have to be careful with the baking soda because sometimes that's gonna raise your blood pressure. And another thing that I'd caution you about with the baking soda strategy is that you need to make sure you get aluminum free and organic baking soda uh, because that's been indicated in some types of uh, brain issues. So you want to avoid those as well. A final, another strategy that you can use uh, to raise that pH level up is taking some herbal supplements. 
Um, I particularly like the, the green supplements. So you can get uh, super greens or any sort of, or a powder green supplement, or spirulina, blue green algae, uh, chlorella, spirulina, uh, or, or a combination of those. And you can use those on a regular basis. And those not only raise your pH level, but have a tendency to detox the, the body from chemicals as well. So that's a good idea. And another one is aloe vera juice or aloe vera pills. And that kind of works as a natural anti-inflammatory as well. So those are some ideas that you can use and add to the diet changes you've already made. Uh, you might find them pretty helpful. Again, you need to talk about these with your health providers. And again, uh, some of these supplements interfere with medications, especially like Coumadin. So uh, if you're on certain medications, uh, you need to take those into consideration when you make any of these lifestyle changes or dietary changes. I hope this is helpful to you and I will see you again. Bye.